navy sinks three houthi vessels so this comes under gs2 international relations us uh, navy helicopter sank three vessels operated by yemen's iran backed houthi rebels that had attacked a container ship in the red sea so merks hung so a singapore flag and denmark owned and operated container ship came under attack for the second time in 24 hours while transiting the red sea so for prelims red sea is an inlet of the indian ocean between africa and asia one of the most saline bodies of uh, water which is most uh, salt water bodies of water in the world bordering countries include egypt saudi arabia yemen sudan eritrea and djibouti so it connected to the indian ocean in south through uh, bab of bab el mandeb strait and the gulf of aden in the north or the sinai peninsula the gulf of aqaba and the gulf of suez leading to the suez canal occupies a part of great rift valley that is afro arabian rift valley so mahatma gandhi national rural employment guarantee scheme so this comes under gs3 economy from the near wages under the narega will be paid only through an aadhar based payment system which require aadhar detail of workers to be seeded to their job cards so narega is a rural wage employment program in india it provides for a legal guarantee of at least 100 days of unskilled wages employment in a financial year to rural household whose adult members are willing to engage in unskilled manual work at a predetermined minimum wage rate so the ministry of rural development government of india is monitoring the entire implementation of this scheme in association with state government so narega act 2005 is a law passed by the indian government in 2005 that guarantees the right to work to rural citizens of india so if work is not assigned within 15 days the applicant is entitled to receive an unemployment allowance and panchayat raj institution take a main role in planning implementing and monitoring the works so grama sabha or given the authority to suggest work payments are made on a weekly basis and cannot be delayed more than 15 days with the compensation for delays so sovereign gold bond uh, so this comes in the gs3 economy so this have been attracting a lot of interest lately after the first set of bond matured in november so investor who bond sovereign gold bond 2015 at a face value of rupees 2584 per bond have seen the maturity value zoom to 6132 with the rise in market price of gold so sovereign gold bonds are government of india borrowings denominated in gold the bonds are issued at a face value peg to the prevailing market price of gold at maturity after 8 years they are redeemed at the gold price prevailing then so sovereign gold bonds score over physically physical jewelry on ability to deliver gold returns transparently based on the prevailing market prices of gold so with the jewelry or physical bullion you incur making charges gst at the time of purchases and again suffer deductions when selling it back to the jeweler the cost eats sustainable sustainably into returns even if gold prices are zoomed during the hold period but returns from sustain Uh, sovereign gold bonds are highly depend on movement in gold prices between buy and sell prices so price returns on gold originate from two sources movements in the international price of gold and movement of the rupee against the us dollar so thank you have a great day